Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jess again from JD MSG with another how to hack for this time. Uh, this was the most difficult hack I've ever done and I also came up with a new strategy on the fly. Very proud of myself. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I did and it's very effective. Actually, it's uh, defenseless. They have no defense against it if you have the equipment for it and you're in the right spot. So the reason why this hack was the most difficult I've ever done was because the player was already onto me. He's waiting for me at the end of that pier facing at the only direction I can come from unless I come in a boat. Uh, so we're gonna see how I handle this here in the next minute or two. Uh, so I decided that there was absolutely no approach I could do that was subtle. So what I decided to do is back up my car for more bullet resistance. And I'm just going to barely get in range and hack him. Hope he doesn't have a car, but he does. So my only hope is to outrun him before he can profile me. Uh, so obviously he knows I'm there. I just profiled him, so I just need to ditch him and find a good place to initiate. Uh, so what I do here kind of works out in my favor. is a gate right there. I'm surprised he didn't hack it. But I sure as hell hacked it on him and did a blackout so he couldn't follow me. Alright, so unlike my other strategies, this one actually requires materials. Uh, so I'm not, I'm just going to spit it out. You need six blackouts. Uh, so four on a person and enough materials to create another two. And you're going to see the reason why here in a minute. So the idea for this strategy is you're going to lock yourself inside this two-way garage or any two-way garage for the entire hack. It's kind of a dick move, but hacking's all about outsmarting the other player and this is one effective way to do that, not to mention to give them a slap in the face if you're that kind of player. Uh, so now all we need to do is just chill and listen to music and hope he doesn't rage quit. Uh, so, But just in case I don't have enough materials, I'm going to stay in the car for an easy evasive. But this is all you literally do is you just keep your eye on that black meter at the top. When it runs out, you just press the shit out of the R1 button to start the next blackout. And you just rinse and repeat for the entire hack. And craft as needed, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and skip to when something interesting happens for you. Otherwise, you'll just be staring at that little progress bar growing, which nobody wants to do unless you're actually the one doing the hacking. So as you can see, he did the one and only option he had available for him to defend against this, and that's the jam my hack in hopes that I don't have enough materials to keep that door closed. But unfortunately for him, I have more than enough blackouts to see this all the way through. All right, here we are in the last final 5%. As you can see, there's nothing that's gonna stop me from getting this hack complete. Uh, so once again, all this requires is just having enough blackouts to lock yourself in there. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this strategy. Feel free to implement it however you like, twist it in whatever way you want. If you like it, like it, this video, share it with your friends, comment on it, tell me it sucks ass, do something. You guys are too quiet. Uh, but yeah, once again, this is Jesse with channel JDMSG. I uh, hope you enjoy these hack videos. I'll try to do more. I pretty much exhausted all my clever strategies. The other ones aren't really video worth. Uh, but let me know what you guys have in mind. I'll try to take requests as I go along. So have a good time, guys.